Hi guys, Stompbox here. Um, yesterday I was out poking around in one of my local Lon and McQuaid stores. Just pick up some strings and just have browse around and stuff like that. And uh, for my American friends, Long and McQuaid is like the Canadian version of Guitar Center. And um, anyway, they had a, a shelf there with a whole bunch of used odds and ends and stuff on it. And um, I took a look around and see too much there to turn my wheels. I was wasn't really shopping for anything in particular anyway. No, anyway, I caught this. This is a little reverb unit. And I thought it was a drum machine or something at first. I just looked right past it. But my eyes caught the um, the setting. I just saw a large hall. And I thought, whoa, wait a minute. And I picked it up and I realized this is a little reverb unit. And it's got 16 different reverbs on it. Uh, I just dial it up with the knob to the... Uh, the appropriate number listed here and the mix is there it's got a bypass off and on so it kind of works like a pedal but instead of having the big clunky button in the middle it's got this so uh, this may be more to sit on top of an amp you dial it up and forget it which is what I've been pretty much doing with it but um, it uh, best part about it is that there's only 49 bucks so uh, try finding a reverb pedal for 49 bucks, you know, so I tell digital, this is 1990 some odd technology, I tried looking it up online, I couldn't find a hell of a lot, but it uh, appears to be mid-90ish uh, vintage, uh, I mean, good old USA, so it's decent quality, and um, yeah, so uh, it worked great, came with a power supply, and um, plugged it right in fired right up. So uh, give me a sec to plug it in and I'll uh, show you a couple things it does. Alrighty, all set up. Uh, I'm using the Valve Junior here. Um, my uh, ESP uh, Tally and the uh, MR1 um, reverb. <coughs> okay, so that's with the bypass. Bypass. So uh, we'll go down to number one. I'll wind it up all the way. This is dry, this is wet. So that would be just a straight signal. And then wet is affected signal. And then you got somewhere in the middle where you can blend them. You just blend the two. So fully wet on large hall. large hall then we come up to small hall we'll try that that's small hall uh, bring it back a little bit and uh, Static electricity on my thing on my uh, pick guard. Oh, it's gone. There. <clears throat> okay. So this number five is called guitar room. Let's hear what a guitar room sounds like. That's fully wide open. So uh, it's very short. These are really shitty sounding. You have to bear in mind this thing is almost 20 years old. Uh, where are we going here? Sparkling room number six. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to pick and choose a few. Number six, sparkling room. So 
with very low, uh, very low sounding. Yeah. Blends in. Cool. Okay, uh, let's try go over to the other side here. Tom Slap 9. Let's try lucky number 13. Yeah, so, uh, Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, some of these aren't bad. Um, if you just want a little bit of ambiance added to your to your sound, wet the sound a little bit, this thing works fine. Um, if you want something that's ultra high quality, studio quality stuff, uh, this ain't gonna do it. But for fifty bucks, it's good enough for me. So uh, there you go. Any questions? Uh, give me a shout. Thanks.